No stream, no Mogachan. I haven't had good luck with summoning in a long time. Maybe I just need to do something different. Here we are at the uh, Kokomi Shrine. We are gonna be trying to get her weapon, I guess. Uh, we have that selected there. I have been going back and forth a little bit on the fence, honestly, if I should even go for it. But at the end of the day, like my God Mode showcases now have their signature weapon with them as well. So I guess it would only be fair to Kokomi if we actually get her to the standards as I get, you know, every other recent God Mode Showcase 5 star. So, yeah, there's that. I've heard rumors we're gonna get a Hu Tao rerun soon, so obviously I think a lot of people are skipping this banner, skipping Kokomi to go for that, um, which I can understand for sure. But we're gonna do this, hopefully we get a little luckier than we usually do. The last two times we did weapon summons, we needed to get both Fate Points and then get the next 5 star. Uh, I don't think it was that bad though. I think most of the time we didn't have to hit pity and pretty far away from pity as well So that was nice. Uh, we can check history real quick. Okay. We're literally at zero pity right now But yeah, let's just get started. Please RN Jesus have mercy on my soul. Let's go Starting with the purple straight off the bat. There we go. Favonius codex. Well, I mean double four star can't really complain got another flute there We might also raise the eternal donut uh, if we get it early in the video, if it takes us a while, might be a separate video. We'll see. Next in pull, let's go. So we're at 20 now. I'm gonna ju I'm gonna try and just keep track in my head. Pretty sure I basically have every four star at R5 now. So really doesn't matter what we get if we don't get uh, the eternal donut. Uh, with that being said, I we might just skip it if it's not a five star. Is this it? No. Nope. Let's skip. Oh, well, we did get a stringless. Stringless is really nice. Also already R5, but you know, pretty solid bow. Pretty sure a lot of people like uh, Primordial Jade Cutter as well. I honestly don't like it that much, but I'll be okay with some refinements, I guess. So I think we're 30 into pity now. Oh man, we haven't even gotten our first five star yet. 40 into pity. There we go, we got a Dragon's Bane. I think that is, yeah. Now we're doing our last tin pull before we gotta, I don't know, go visit the shop. Maybe we have some star dust or glitter or something. That's also not a five star, unfortunately. We got a, another Favonius Codex, although, again, it doesn't really matter at this point. Oh man. Uh, right. So it looks like none of that helped, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we can get, I can only get 28 of these anymore. Oh man, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Let's do these 20 summons real quick. Maybe we get a five star. Maybe it's the eternal donut. We'll see. Here we go. Come on. Okay, that's not a five star. I'm I'm on the wrong banner. Am I on the wrong banner? Because I just got a Beto and official. But also a Dragon's Bane. Was that just incredibly strange luck? It was. We were on the right banner. Alright, <laughs> whatever. Uh last 10 pull before we have to. Go whale, I guess. Man. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Maybe, maybe we could just get the, the thing. I have a feeling not, though, because that's just how my luck has been lately. Just give us the donut. Give us the donut. Be nice. Flute. Yes! Okay. There it is. Why does it look so weird here? It looks kind of like low resolution and pixely, low detail. Is, is that normal? It looks way more 2D than I would have thought it does. Whatever. It looks good in real life or uh, not, whatever. But I'm happy it didn't take too long. We at least got it as our first five star. I don't think it was that far away from pity though, to be honest. But yeah, let's go give it a look-see. We're going to uh, throw Kokomi back in our team real quick. Oh, she is still in our team. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. I have actually not taken Kokomi out of my team since pulling her, uh, like, two days ago now. She is quite fun to use. Still, you know, getting the ropes down. There we go. Everlasting Moon Glow. We're gonna raise it as much as we can, uh, but I don't know if we can get it to 90 today. Let's just start with throwing all of our little stuff in there for now. There we go, level 20. Oh my god, we are already stuck. These coral branches would be open today, but... I think that's gonna be our bigger issue. Oh no, that sucks. Kokomi needs them. She needs them for her talents and, and for the, this is like Ayaka all over again with the Miss Splitter. 
Did Miss Splitter need the Samurai drops? I don't... We're still only at 666 for her because the weekly boss drops are still so limited. And to be totally honest, um, you know, seeing as she is kind of mostly at least halfway a healer, it's not a massive priority to get them past 6. Uh, so yeah, I would still rather focus on, you know, Shogun or Sara for now. Well, I want to raise it at least a little more, so let's go, you know, find one of these dudes out there. Spectres. There aren't really that many wings that suit her very well. Guess we'll stick with these. These are nice as well, but I wasn't playing on PlayStation, so I don't have it. I think that works for now. All right, we just deleted some specters. Let's see how far we can get this. Oh man, we'll really need to be like spamming those specters hard because I still need to get her to 90 as well. Thankfully, I think there are actually quite a lot, but I should probably use an interactive map rather than the, than the adventure handbook because as far as I'm aware, the Adventure Handbook doesn't show all of them, just like a selection of them. Well, there we go for 40 at least. Now we're missing branches and specters. Branches won't be a huge issue. We'll go farm a bit of those. Although, since Kokomi still is a work in progress, we are not going to use her here yet. Let's see if we can speed run this. Oh no, I forgot there were just a bunch of Electro dudes here. That's not good. Well, I guess for here at least we can speed run these guys. See ya. I mean, all things considered, 45 seconds ain't bad, considering our main DPS and another unit in her team are both Electros. We got a purple. We're just gonna try it again. I'm gonna try and speedrun it with like the worst team I could possibly bring. Ah, uh, now we have one little dude left over, so that's annoying. Speedrun definitely failed there. Let's just do this again. All right. No, now that one just started backing up. He's like, what's going on over there? Oh, we did beat our time by two seconds. I don't know how that worked. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a gold. We're gonna try Eula. I'm still not that great with her, honestly, because I don't use her enough, but I think she would be pretty nice for this place. So just gonna gather them all together. I guess we don't even really need to do that. We're just gonna go to her burst straight away. Do this. Hopefully uh, the, the Hillichurls come before it explodes. Come on, Hill Charles. Ah, damn, but they, oh, it was just right there, man. That could have been a good run if they were just a little bit faster to come to me. Still very solid, just basic damage though. 48, yeah. How did I do it faster with an Electro main DPS? I don't know, but uh, all right. Still got a couple purples, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and do her burst here. Oh no, why are they so, why are they so alive still? Ah, uh, that's not gonna hit anyone. Ah, uh, jeez. I need to work on the timing a little bit there. 50, we're getting worse. Couple more purples. So we're gonna start with Vinti this time. Then we're gonna throw Zhongli's ball on them. Then we're gonna go to Sara. then Eula. And go ahead and do her burst. Oh, I think that's the last slime. Okay, here we go. This could be the good stuff. Come on. Just try and damage them all equally here. And explode! Oh, it didn't hit that one. Come on. All right. 38. Here's our last condensed resin anyway. We could make some more, but honestly, at this point, I think our problem is more the specters. But yeah, I think I'll save the rest of the farming for the actual weapon showcase. That is something I kind of like to do as well, just to look at the weapon, you know, in a vacuum outside of the character it's meant for. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think about it in the comments below. I don't know if they will, but would be nice if we see some Kokomi buffs at one point. Uh, they did that with Zhongli. Everyone who was hating on him when he first dropped regretted not getting him then. Um, but I wouldn't count on a buff, so, you know, don't summon for her if you don't like her as she is, obviously. Um, and, well, naturally, don't get <laughs> the everlasting donut if you're not going to get her. Because I don't think there's going to be many characters that want this weapon. But yeah, if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments. Liking and subscribing if you enjoy the content is always appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.